Rick Dale asks, having trouble with Swallowtail, keep getting lost in the tune and making mistakes. Any tips? Okay, Rick, thanks for your question. Thank you all for your questions. Um, so Swallowtail Jig, really this, the answer could apply to any tune that anybody is learning. You're getting lost in the tune. So getting lost in tunes. Okay, so I have a few main tips for this. One is listen to versions of the tune. So just listen. So if you want to learn Swallow, we'll use Rick's current tune, Swallowtail Jig as an example. Just go and listen to different versions, get to know that tune, make friends with it. You become intimate with it and you know, you know, if you have a good mental model of the tune, you'll be able to play it better and remember where to go. The next thing is to really get intimate with each little part of the tune. It's just the core teaching of Fiddlehead to not play a whole tune. If you're getting lost, it's a sure sign that you're doing too big of a piece. You should break it down into a smaller piece, maybe even a smaller piece. So ask yourself, Frank, uh, Rick, can you do this? Can you do that without getting lost? If you can, great, it's awesome. Maybe do it until it just feels like totally second nature. Play it, repeat a thousand times on that. Do it different ways. And so I'm gonna drill deep on this one quarter. Another way to, to get really, the goal is to flow with each part. If you can get each part to be very continuous and flowing then when you go to put it together you'll you'll be able to put it together with flow so you could take the same part maybe start it on G string it, you will learn it more deeply if you transpose it to another string A string note we're just doing this one little part which you can transpose to three different strings okay so once you get that part flowing, then you move on to the, the, the second quarter of the A part. And then if you feel like you got that, loop on that. Use a drone track to make it fun. I use, um, I'm gonna get mine up and running. D, uh, this would be E drone. All right, so. Okay, so anyway. So you have the first sounding good, the second flowing, then you just do the same with the first half now. Now start over. Don't do the whole B part. And then just eventually it, you get that to that point, then you do the second half of the A part. Once that's flowing, get the whole thing to flow. Maybe just get the A part to flow, Rick, for you know one day. If you, that's a huge accomplishment. It may seem like a small step, but it's a big step. And, and this applies to any tune, folks, that you, you're learning and you're getting lost on. It's a sign that you just haven't learned each part well enough. All right, unless it's really a long piece of music, like three pages or something, then, I mean, the same process would apply. But for most tunes, you really just need to drill down on each part. And you probably need to learn it more deeply than you think. A lot of people think, oh, I got this. I can, I know all the parts. But you really have to become like a master of each part. 
And what I, what I mean by that is not playing it perfectly, just again, making friends with it, becoming intimate with each part, all right? So I hope that's helpful, Rick. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.